Alright, g'day guys and welcome back tonight to another Obsidian video. For those of us who've worked with these sort of tools for a while, we generally come across a bit of a problem. And that is that we, uh, we generally work from PDFs and depending on the PDF you really see a fairly large discrepancy in the quality of the data um, as you cut and paste the data across. Some PDFs don't let you cut and paste. Some PDFs uh, do let you cut and paste, but like it's it's all scrambled data. Um, some PDFs cut and paste perfectly, uh, and then there's PDFs that sort of uh, they paste the data perfectly, but you know all the data's on separate lines. Um, there's just break lines through the whole thing, and you know cleaning up your data can can be hours worth of effort. Um, and you know it's worth it at the end because you've got a nice clean, fully linked. Um, digital document for you to use at the table and I don't know about you guys but I basically don't use books at the table ever like there's just no point it just takes me longer to look up in a book than it does with Obsidian for example um, but obviously that means that the, you've got to go through that process of cleaning your data so let's jump across to Obsidian uh, we're going to be looking at a add-on or plug-in sorry called text format so let's jump over and see what it has to offer All right, so in front of me you can see I've got uh, the Demo Vault 2 going. Um, what I'm going to do is just create a new uh, note here. I'm going to call it Text Format, and I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. So I've been working with uh, Sly Forish's uh, Return of the Lazy Dungeon Master. Uh, fantastic books, uh, really enjoying them. Uh, and if I paste something from him, it comes in like this. Now. For anyone who's familiar with the data, you're probably sitting here going, all right, space, delete, space, delete, space, delete, space, delete, space, delete, space, delete, space, delete. Space, delete. <laughs> all right, it's just, it's painful. Um, so what, what, what methods have we got for getting rid of that? There is a way here, and just so uh, you guys are aware, so control shift V, uh, will take the formatting out. Now, where that's handy is some websites, especially ones that we commonly use, uh, have text in them uh, that is really sort of used for uh, like driving functionality in the back of the tool. And here we go. I'm just going to, on the other screen, I'm just going to see if I can bring up a example just so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. And I'm just bringing in a monster stat block. All right, and you can see the monster stat block has got this code in here. Control Shift V gets rid of that code. So just a heads up on that one. That is functionality that is built into Obsidian, so that's fine. Um, you might need to go in and check your hotkeys. All right, you can do that through here. You can see I've got Control Shift D there, uh, Control Shift K, Control Shift E. All right, so there's different things going on here you can check. So you can even change your hotkeys if you don't like. But that's obviously a very useful um, tool for getting rid of that. But that one doesn't solve the problem that we're having with this example PDF, where obviously uh, it's just got break lines through the whole thing. Now, for those of you coming from Realmworks, you probably remember that we had Control Shift Alt V, I think it was, or it was Control Shift V. I can't remember exactly, but we had an option to remove break lines. Uh, found out today that that is uh, is available. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to Settings. We're going to come in here to Community Plugins. We're going to go Browse, and we're going to type Text Format. All right, so you can see this one here by Burniture. It's been downloaded just over 3,000 times. All right, with all things, we're going to go through and install. While we're there, we can have a bit of a read um, and just to see what this does. We'll click Enable while it's there. So there's different options here. So there's lowercase, all letters and selections, uppercase, capitalize, title case, remove redundant spaces, remove blank lines. Merge broken paragraphs, format bullet lists like this. This is fantastic, uh, really, really useful. You can see there's some OCR cases here. For anyone who hasn't played with OCR, you can do some Googling there, but that's a really handy way of getting data um, off a picture, usually. 
Um, and yeah, and the, there's examples here. So you can see lowercase will convert to lowercase, uppercase will convert to upper. Um, what I'm really looking for though is the uh, probably the merge broken paragraphs. All right, this is going to be the interesting one. So anyway, we've got the uh, the plugin installed now. So how does it work? So we've pasted our text. There's break lines through the whole thing. So what do we do? We highlight it. And you come over here to command prompt. All right, command palette. All right, we're going to go format. What have we got? We've got different options here. So uh, da, 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 da. merge broken paragraphs into selections. Let's do that one. Boom. All right, all of our break lines are instantly gone. Now, you might be saying, well, hang on, I need some of those. And look, this is one of those things, right? Um, it's more efficient, in my opinion, to get rid of the every single break line and get left with a chunk of text. And then you go through and you just identify the starts of the paragraphs um, and you just add in your, uh, your your enters there. All right? And that's a lot quicker, in my opinion, than uh, going through and doing it the other way where you remove everything. There we go, done. All right, so that's how I do that. I just want to have a quick look here though and just have a look at this other option. What was it, text format? What do they have one for removing? There we go. Oh, that's for removing double blank lines, okay. All right, cool. So anyway, that's that's pretty much it. There are obviously some other options here. So, you know, let's let's just have a bit of a play. Um, well, we'll just highlight some text. We'll click on the command palette, go format. Uh, let's go uppercase selected text. Boom. This one here, we're going to go format lowercase. Boom. All right, so you can see how this could be quite useful title case, All right, capitals on the start. So look guys, I think that's a really simple plugin that offers some really fantastic functionality for those of us who are messing around with PDFs because uh, yeah, PDFs suck. Um, and you look for anyone who, who hasn't really come across it, PDFs are actually not displaying native font, which is the problem. They're actually displaying a chunk of pictures to make it look like you're looking at font, which is why cut and paste isn't always working. And the format is getting better with each iteration of uh, of um, the PDF stuff that's coming out, but uh, some of the old stuff is just trash. So yeah, always try and avoid PDFs if I can. Anyway, guys, if you are enjoying this content, please do like and subscribe. Uh, huge thanks to my, my patrons. Um, We'll uh, be looking at some more videos in the near future, hopefully. So do feel free to let me know if there's anything specific you would like to see. Um, and yeah, this is the the text format plugin. Hope it's been useful to you. So outside of that, I'll speak to you on the forums. Have a great day.